I'm Shannon. I work with InterVarsity in the Mid-Atlantic region. And last week, I was working really hard to serve a lot of people. At the end of the week, someone criticized me. And my response was to become bitter and self-pitying. My thoughts went something like, well, what are they doing? And who's looking out for me? I became distant, snippy, and generally unpleasant to be around. Now, at the same time, there was a part of my brain that was thinking, Shannon, you are really a horrible human being. How dare you treat other people this way? I felt like I had lost years of spiritual and personal growth and was really discouraged. Can you relate? Do you feel like maybe you've regressed? Maybe you've become more selfish or bitter like me? Maybe you've lost control over how you talk about other people. Maybe you're struggling again with an addiction you thought you'd made some progress in, pornography or workaholism. If that's you, what I wanna say is this is actually pretty normal. It's not good, but it's understandable. The COVID-19 crisis we're in has caused a lot of isolation and uncertainty. It feels like the ground has been pulled out from underneath us. And when we lose our balance, we want to grab hold of something solid, which tends to be internally the ways that we were a few years back. This kind of regression can actually be exacerbated if say we've moved back home and the people at home expect us to be the way that we used to be. Or perhaps the things at home reinforce behaviors we used to do. If that's you, I have great news. And that is that God is for you right now. One of my favorite sections of scripture comes in the fourth chapter of Hebrews, where the author is talking about Jesus as the high priest, the one who mediates between people and God. And he says, we actually have a high priest who can empathize and understand our weaknesses because he himself has been tempted like we are. Which means in Jesus, he knows what it means to have tension with his parents. He knows what it feels like to be let down by friends. He knows the temptation to seize control in ways, even if it could hurt other people. So when we approach him, his response is an, oh, would you get it together? But, oh, I understand, that's hard. And because that is what Jesus is like, the author of the Hebrews goes on and he says, therefore we can approach God with confidence to receive mercy and to find grace to help us in our time of need. You know, Christians talk a lot about grace, God's riches at Christ's expense. The thing is, most of us aren't good at living in it. So here's my first challenge. Take this opportunity of regression to experience God's love. His love for the real you, not the sort of fictional, this is what I should be you, but the real you. How? Be honest. It's easy to be kind of generically upset or feel bad about ourselves, but it takes courage to look inside and name it, and then to hold it before God. But when we do, what we find is that God loves us with all the broken pieces. My second challenge is don't do this alone. You know, part of what made last week so horrible for me was that I thought I was uniquely horrible. But when I told some friends what I was struggling with, they said, oh, me too. So grab a buddy. Encourage one another. Pray together. And you might even go back to some of those things that you used to do that were familiar. Maybe morning prayer, journaling. For me, it's pressing into Mark and becoming fascinated with Jesus all over again. And here's my conviction, that as we take courage, as we look deeply into ourselves, as we hold our real selves before God, what we're gonna find is all those things that seem like they got lost are gonna come back more quickly 
and more deeply than they did the first time. Because after all, Jesus is for us.